So we're the group E logic, uh, as you can see, stands for engineering logic. Um, our team members, I guess we'll just call them. Jessica, Lanita, Delk. And my name is Patrick. Um, Daniel wasn't here today, um, but my name's Avon. Um, some brainstorming ideas. Um, e logic is something that we kind of came up with pretty quickly. Um, we tried to mess around with our names as well, nothing worked. Um, we also tried to mess around with our possible majors, but some of us weren't sure what we were doing, so that also didn't work. Uh, I think Nita was the one that at first uh, suggested e logic. So, um, yeah, as soon as we said that, it sounded simple enough, catchy enough, that we kind of all just went with it. Um, first couple of sketches, obviously they know within gears when you're thinking about like engineering. I think most people thought of that um, for their logo. Um, the light bulb up there representing an idea. Um, Patrick made the second one. Yeah, so I made the, I made the, the logo on the left side. Or right, right side. <laughs> <laughs> very, very first. Um, the initial idea was the, so uh, since we have five first, uh, we have five people, so the five finger was holding together. The, uh, that means we are, we will have a good teamwork, you know. And the the spinner that we are holding means we are doing engineer stuff. Actually, <laughs> 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 the the, um, the first name that I came up was the the hope of the word engineering, but I found out that, was, that wasn't. I the name so we should and then we change it to be logic. Okay. Um uh, that one. Yeah. Yeah. Well <clears throat> Well um then we found out that we are not actually doing a one subject. So we have um a computer science, we have uh, a me mechanical engineer, we have so and so we, we cannot just uh, represent those engineers by five fingers. <laughs> yeah, and the other thing with the wrench was that we were pretty sure we'd yeah. seen that logo somewhere. We couldn't figure out where, but we were like, mm, we don't, we don't yes, really want to imitate similar. anything else. So we just scratched the first two ideas. And yeah. then, so then Patrick and Nina oh, were still sharing five minutes. Go ahead. Yeah, so I, I used the matrix to, uh, to represent the uh, computer science and the gears to show the mechanical engineers and the ruler and um, and, um, the civil engineer. Well, the, the meaning of show is because I like the show. <laughs> <laughs> then we found out that yeah, even though oh, we like it, it's so hard to put this on the, uh, on the computer. So we just change the text. So well, this one included all the um, Details. We were trying to stay more simple, and uh, Nina and Patrick are great drawers. Everybody else is fairly uh, <laughs> not such great sketches. Um, so we kind of started out with using the calipers and the E logic. We all like this one. Um, we kind of threw in some random ideas, um, but they didn't really work out. So um, there's like calipers with the banner. We were trying to decide between E logic or engineering logic. What would work better? Um, oh, yeah, here's some ideas, kind of we wanted to have the 3D look within our design. Do we want to do shading or just have uh, like just a sketch to be simple? And then this one, uh, we again incorporated the five cogs in the gear. So there's five members of the team, therefore that's how we incorporated all of the team members. Um, we decided that keeping it simple was probably uh, a good idea rather than so cluttered. So we wanted to keep something very simple and we also wanted a logo that stood alone without the words in it necessarily. So it could be used in multiple applications as we continue on with what we're doing in the class. So we just um, decided that inside the cogs or the gear we would drop the lowercase e for, you know, at first kind of like, you know, iPad or, you know, iPhone or whatever, or email. So we thought, oh, E logic. So we'll just drop the E in there. So that's what we're calling our team is just E logic instead of saying engineering logic. Um, and the L, of course, represented with the with the scale um, of the square. So every um, discipline could use a measuring device as well as the calipers 
for a more detailed uh, measuring device. So we thought that that would cross all of our um, courses of study, whether it's mechanical or civil or um, just design or structural, whatever the, whatever the engineering path would be, uh, that would incorporate all of us in there and show the teamwork effort. And then we wanted just very clearly the letters, you know, logic because um, that's one of the goals in, of the class is using, you know, logical processes. So um, we wanted that one big and bold with the word engineering a little more freestyle on top. So you can see it kind of went from sketch to the finished design, which was um, built in Adobe Illustrator. Could have used AutoCAD as well and embellished it a little bit. But we wanted it to, we decided we needed it look good black and white because that's the true um, gauge of a successful logo is if it looks good in black and light, white, it will always look good in color. You know, as long as you don't make it some rainbow thing, unless you want that to be representative of your team. So we wanted it to look like metal, and those are the effects that we made, a little drop shadow so that it had a, has a 3D effect on it, but mostly that it represents all of the members of our team very well. So yeah, some of the difficulties we had while making our logo was really just, we all had a bunch of ideas that we were gonna have to just choose one, so that was hard to just boil it down a couple and then just picking one that we were gonna go with. We didn't want to mimic an existing logo, um, and we also, on that final idea, we wanted to include everyone's input. Um, the fun while making our logo was just brainstorming and sketching. Everyone was having fun trying to create something, um, learning everyone's creativity and drawing capabilities. Some of us were better than others. Um, well, some of them, I would have been the good ones. Um, <laughs> seeing our sketch become fi finalized with Adobe Illustrator needed did a really good job, pretty much. The, the final logo looked exactly like the sketch that right? yeah, I saw, so that was awesome being able to see that come to life. And that's about it. Okay. Thank you. Any any question? Okay. Yep. Thank you. For the last one. All of us did. Oh. Um, you saw the brainstorming page. That was a good question. The question was, who came up with the idea for the final logo? Um, all of us contributed to that. The brainstorming page just kind of took everybody's ideas and we just randomly threw them on there. Patrick was sketching in detail on another sheet. So we just kind of took them all together and, and then as we're looking at them, we're like, okay, let's make it simplistic. What do we do? How about gears? So on that brainstorming page, you can see a couple of implementations of gears as well as Patrick's um, sketch. So we just kind of took little components of it, threw it together and passed for how's this look, how's this look? And everybody kind of came up with consensus. Oh, that's, everybody just kind of came together and said, yeah, that's what these look like. Thank you. Any other questions? Thank you.